<laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, he's gonna spool me. <laughs> this is how you uh, don't want to <laughs> deal with a fish at the hole, but uh, Northern Manitoba Lake Trout, here with my buddy Daniel Stagg. <laughs> this is probably close to what you'd call an eater, but uh, we're going to let him go. Alright Al, give us a midday update. Alright, we got a couple tiny little lakers under our belt, one burbot, a couple good meals under our belt, grilled cheese, soup, pogos, corn dogs, it's been good. See any different signs of life? I think there's... Some fish down there. There's one on here, man. There's one on here, dude. Hang on. There's one on here. Are you recording? Should I reel up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm a believer, Dan, in the old. I'm gonna shut this door. Oh my goodness, he's gonna spool me. He's gonna spool me. <sighs> Holy, that took seconds. He went for a peeling run, and I couldn't even turn him around. We just pulled up the camera cord, thank goodness. Oh, now I'm starting to feel some weight. That we set up. Stuck in that notch. Oh, he just came out. <sighs> He's got to be down here somewhere. Are you at your fluorocarbon yet? Not anymore. <laughs> Where's my Crocs? Pass me my Crocs. Actually? Yeah. I gotta put this baby in sport mode. Oh. Sport mode, dude. Hardcore sport mode. This is the Mr. Big Vanta Black series. And by golly, is she good! <laughs> Had to pull her out because she was slow. My rod is spooled up with 15 pound fluoro and 15 pound mainline Power Pro braid. He's gonna be. Coming up here on the ice pretty soon. 
can't show the socks. That's just no good. <laughs> Embarrassing. Pardon me and the hood. Extra style points, right? <sighs> oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Okay. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Close. Right in the corner of the mouth. Clear spot here so we can bump measure and release. Quick here. I don't feel I'm pulling either. Uh-oh. Staying on the line just to lose one. I'm gonna move. Look, he's right there. He's right there. Oh yeah. Oh, it came up. Look at that. Right up the hole. Right up the hole. Get in here. Get in here. Sport mode Crocs. Don't want to get them wet. Oh, buddy, hide the bait. Hide the bait. Get them on the tape here. Forty. <laughs> That's a 40, baby. Nice. <laughs> 40 incher. One last look at this freaking beast. 40 inches, right on the dot. First master of the trip, first day. All right, let's get him a release. Whew. He's roaring, ready to go. See fins, happy fins indicator. There, it's already kicking in the hole. Okay. Just a little bit of an update what happened all right it's about 9 30 at night dan a couple hours ago pulled up a 40 incher and he's been kind of trying to help me along to uh, at least come close to what he's catching and i mean shy of him trying to reel in the fish for me here uh, <laughs> i'm not doing myself any favors and the night's still young so hopefully we can reel in a pretty respectable trophy class lake trout here in northern Manitoba. <laughs> All we're doing right now is just sitting and waiting for this rod tip to go down. There's a couple of big marks coming through. We're just patiently, patiently waiting. Should I start naming chocolate bars yet? So basically, I'm just pulling out some wine here, feeding this fish some wine. I'll just let him keep eating for the time being. It's starting to really move though. I'll put the deucer. Well, here we go. I'm gonna lay into him. Hook. Okay, talk to us, Al. All right, so we were laying a big Cisco on the bottom here with a couple treble hooks in it. Um, it's about quarter after midnight right now. Yeah, we we're just watching some Northern Mike here in the shack, posting a new video, eating corn dogs, and you know what? I think uh, let him eat it long enough here. I might try and lay into him. Oh, you mother!
Oh. And it's <laughs> difficult to be patient in a situation like this because you just want to lay into them. But at the same time, I just don't want to make the same mistake over and over again. So. Would one say calm before the storm? Yeah, hopefully. Well, thoughts? I'm going to try them. You're going to try them? Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't lose the bait. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh my get, goodness. Get back down there though. He, okay. He'll he'll be. All right, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Just woke up here in Manitoba. Feels better. Doesn't feel huge yet. Oh my goodness. That's a knot. <laughs> it's a good thing that we have you to catch the fish. Been a tough trip. <laughs> oh man. Oh, just digging through my little fun package of bait here and I pull up this guy and I say to Al to catch a master I need to give him a master so I'm going to give him a 16 inch Cisco Tulabi what do you think? Go big or go home. <laughs> 16 inch tulipy going in. Big tulipy on the hole. So when I drilled these holes, I kind of shredded the edge of the hole so that the tip of the tip sit lower and closer to the water and you get a better seal from it freezing with these thermal HT tip ups. This one's the Predator Pro. Right now, you'd think we have a flag, but the big bait is just falling. And uh, once she hits bottom, then we'll set her up.
that okay this one behind us okay <laughs> okay dude right. Some good weight Here we are in northern Manitoba, fishing for big lake trout. Oh man, what would you say? This is like 25 pound 80. nylon tip up line. 80? Yeah, don't screw around. <laughs> <laughs> Just using these Predator Pro thermal tip ups. They're insulated, which is really nice because your hole doesn't freeze up so fast. And then just big Cisco's on the bottom with quick strike rigs in them. Dan's custom homemade stag rigs. Decently heavy. Took a lot of line. <laughs> All right, we haven't seen this fish yet, but that's his first run that he takes here. Oh man, I am fired up about this, Dan. Like, just, if you wanna get out with a guy who's gonna put you on big fish, Daniel Staggs, your guy. You know, him and I, we've been friends for a little while here, playing hockey together and stuff like that. And we find time to fish every now and then. Here he's going again. Yeah, Dan's got a reputation as being Mr. Big Pike, but you know, he knows how to find the big Lakers too. <laughs> We're at the leader. Oh, there's space. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ready? Oh my goodness. Get a load of this. <laughs> Northern Manitoba lake trout here with my buddy Daniel Stag. We're gonna give him a drink here and take some pictures, give him a measure. 36 and a half. Ties my PB. 